Hey beer tubers! I decided to share with you guys this beer I'm about to open up and it is Mikeller's AK Alive. Now, if you know any of my videos, I have not reviewed a single Mikeller beer at all. Uh, I'm not going to go into that as to why, but uh, this is basically Anchorage Brewing's version of Mikeller's It's Alive. Uh, now, if you know any of his It's Alive series, he's basically made many, many versions of this uh, Britannomyces infested, uh, funky, wild ale. Uh, the original It's Alive is basically Mikeller's version of the Orval. Uh, so I'm not sure exactly how this is, except it's Anchorage's versions of Mikeller's versions of Orval. But I did hear that this is actually sour, so it could be a little different. So without further ado, let me go ahead and pop this open and I'm going to show you guys how it is. Uh, now you could tell that this is exactly the type of bottle that Anchorage uses as well as their signature cork here with their logo, it's pretty cool, as well as the crown too. So let me get into the beer here. Uh, it's a very hazy yellowish orange color to it, uh, it's not see-through at all. Uh, it's got a two finger head, uh, retained quite a bit as you would expect in a funky ale. I'm gonna pour myself a little more right here and let me check the aroma on this AK Alive. Ah, oh, that's interesting. Um, yeah, I, I could tell it's definitely a sour. You get some of those notes. Um, I, I get quite a bit of the Britannomyces that's there. Get some like uh, like apricot. Some nice fruity notes to it. It actually smells really, really nice. I smell the fruit all right in this. Um, yeah, like like prickly pear. Um, uh, like dragon fruit ish, like those kind of notes. But definitely like farmhouse, funky, uh, barnyard kind of smell as well. It actually smells really, really nice, and I'm looking forward to it. Here, why don't I give it a try here? Come bite. Whoa! That sucker is sour! Man! <laughs> Dang! That is one of the more sour beers I have ever had. Um, so yeah, like as you pass this frothy white foam head, like you're about to taste some of those notes, like some of those uh, tropical, like bright tropical fruit notes, but right away your tongue gets hit, it gets attacked with a bunch of sour notes, the carbonation, abundant amount of carbonation just stings your tongue even more. Um, and then you get some of that uh, some of the fruit characters from the malts, from the from the uh, from the yeast as well, but and and then uh, it's followed along with aroma, but it like fills your mouth with some of that barnyard funky just horse blanket. This this is there's some prominent horse blanket in this. It's like you just just wrapped some uh, some kiwi fruits and passion fruit and just like wrapped it around with horse blanket, just smooshed it around and made a juice out of it. Nasty, I know it sounds like that, but this is actually quite good so far. It's relatively juicy and drinkable, but at the same time, it's pretty sour. It's got quite a bit of citrus uh, sting to it as well, too. Um, I'm actually enjoying this quite a bit. So my grading of the AK Alive by uh, Anchorage Brewing Company in collaboration with Mikeller, um, as it does say, it's brewed and bottled by Anchorage, so it's pretty much their beer. Um, you know what? They brewed it, so I'm not surprised I'm going to give it an easy A-. Uh, the sour notes and even some of the funky profile is very much similar to a lot of Anchorage's beer, so it does have their signature uh, funkiness to it, which is really nice. And I'm a big fan of Anchorage Brewing, so that's really cool. But it's really nice to actually try something that's remotely Mikeller, uh, because I, as I don't really seek out his beers. So it's really nice to see like their take on Mikeller's take on Orville, Orville uh, although it's very sour. So anyways, uh, that is my uh, review on the AK Alive. I do recommend getting this as this is on the cheaper side for an Anchorage beer. Uh, their beers range from 13 to 16 or 17 dollars, depends on where you're at, and the beer. So I do recommend it and thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you guys in the next beer blog. Come bye!